Hey everyone, what's up? Newbie Snake here. How are you all doing today? Alright, so I'm a bit sick. I'm recovering from a cold or flu, and I currently have a canker sore on the side of my tongue. So you may notice that I will be having some trouble speaking or pronouncing some words properly throughout this video. That's because the canker sore is bothering me quite a bit. Anyway, so we're now celebrating the two-year anniversary for the Android release of Naruto Shinobi Collection, and for the first time ever in the history of Naruto Shinobi Collection, we're having something called God Ninja Festival. So this transcends even the most super, super, super ninja festival. See, I called it about a year ago that they'd have to think of another adjective to use when they have to top the already super super ninja festival they'd have to add words like super mega extreme ultimate etc words like that right and now i think we have the most extreme most ultimate ninja festival that we'll ever get all right because not only did we get the god ninja festival this is the ultimate god ninja festival all right you can see this word here this is like huge right you can see this word if you guys played dragon ball duck and battle uh, yeah, Dragon Ball Z Duck and Battle. And uh, this is the word for ultimate, or this is also the word for extreme. So uh, it can be translated as both, right? But anyways, in this case, I don't know. You can call this Extreme God Ninja Festival or uh, Ultimate God Ninja Festival. But maybe they're going for, I don't know, both the meaning. But anyways, so this is what I think. Like, this will be the most ultimate we'll ever get, all right? But you know what? Um... Who knows? Because just adding the word super in front of anything will make it even more awesome, right? So by adding a super in this scenario, we may, you know, we may just as well have a super ultimate God Ninja Festival in the future, all right? Maybe even for uh, the iPhone or what do we call it? The iOS celebration series. But I don't know what, right? Let's not to look too far ahead of ourselves, and that was just a joke, alright? So anyways, with all jokes aside, let's take a look at some of the news we have today, alright? So I'm just going to go back to the news page and talk about that. And this time, you know, I've read through all the news except for these four. Read through all the other ones so that I'm pretty much prepared for uh, for this video this time, alright? So uh, this is really old stuff, not really new news, but if you guys logged in on April 26th, you guys would have gotten this Naruto. So you start off with, this is like a two year um, anniversary celebration Naruto. So whenever you awaken him, he actually changes uh, face, all right. So from one star to two star to three star to four star to five stars to six stars. So he be so he's like a kid becoming like the first stage where he discovers the nine tails chakra, and then the shippuden Naruto and the sage mode, the nine tails mode, and then uh, the other nine tails mode, right? So this also, if you want to get the special awakening Naruto, you can also try to get him through the friend gacha. It says so the. The, the benefit of that is because you can feed it to himself and try to awaken his Nindo, right? Uh, but the thing is, you will actually need to use these kind of special awakening material, like special awakening monkeys, to actually awaken him. And to in order to do that, you actually need to do the special challenges that are already open now. It was open since April 30th. So let me take a look. Uh, like Let's take a look at, at this together. So if you click on the challenge mode right here, it says two years uh, celebration. And by the way, I really like the, um, what do you call it? The background, because this is like the beginning of Shippuden, right? If you guys check out the manga before, once you read uh, like the first page of Shippuden, this is exactly the scenery. Like this is when Naruto grew up and he comes back to the village and, you know, looking over the whole entire village. All right, so click on this right here. This is the special tab. This is where you need to complete the two years anniversary uh, challenges, all right? So right here it says two years anniversary, two years anniversary, two years anniversary, blah, blah, blah. So all of these are two years anniversary. So the things you do are pretty much the same as almost all the other challenges. You can sell things. So this is like when you sell uh, one time, you get 1,000 friends point. But because I have maxed out my friends point, I haven't used any, so I can't collect it yet. But be sure to spend your friends point, collect it, so you can move on to the next challenge. Because you don't know what 
the other challenge might bring they'll either bring you like more friends point or start to give you like ninja stones right so anyways these things are for example uh, awakening your ninjas i've awakened it like what five times already five out of ten once i i've awakened my characters ten times then i will be able to get one ninja stone and for this one you just need to enhance meaning like level up your your uh, ninjas if you level up like 20 times then you're able to get one ninja stone right so i've already leveled up 10 times i've gotten the previous uh rewards ready so just keep doing that and for this one you just have to clear the daily missions 10 times and then you'll be able to get the monkey king right here right like the special monkey king so be sure to do the daily missions daily missions meaning the monday tuesday wednesday thursday etc missions right not your regular missions right here this is your regular normal story mission right here if you clear five times you get a rock leech training material and i believe clearing it 10 times you get more things so on and so forth again all right so over here if you are doing like polls for a uh, friend gacha if you do 10 times the poll you get a thousand friends point again just keep doing the same action over and over will probably uh give you different like sorry let, let's rephrase that so by doing like the same action meaning like polling on the friend gacha you will unlock more of the same challenges that will give you even more rewards all right so so for for instance for this awakening ninjas right so i've awakened five times gotten the first reward now you have to awaken ninja 10 times right so when you awaken your ninja like 20 times 30 times 40 times 50 times etc you probably will just be doing the same uh thing same action here but the challenges rewards will change uh based on like the the level of the challenge all right if that makes sense so the last one over here is to make a ninja gear so if you make a ninja gear you get one rock lead training material so after that you probably have to make more ninja gears and get more rewards all right so by doing these challenges that's how you unlock the five stars um special monkey king so that eventually you can awaken your one star naruto to max all right so don't sell your one stars naruto uh because that was my very first actually no my very first instinct was to lock him so i actually locked him in i can't sell him because i was like you know maybe i'll just use it for collection but my other thought was to immediately sell him because i'm like dude like one stars you don't really need it right but make sure you don't do that all right so let's move on to the next news uh over here we have killer b Two years anniversary debut all right so killer b now is in the premium mileage shop uh you can go in there and you will be able to trade for him all right so anyways another tradable item all right uh, or unit it's in the ninja mileage shop so not the premium mileage shop just the regular ninja mileage shop meaning whenever you do action like selling awakening uh, leveling up you get some ninja miles right so in that shop you can trade for four stars Utsumaki Naruto and uh, this Naruto what's special about him is that he has the running skills all right so when you're doing the running stages he has special skills for that anyway so uh, other thing about the ninja Miley trading shop and the premium ninja Miley trading shop is that they have um, they have updated the the lineup so you guys can can uh, trade for things again i'll show you guys in a second but before that let's take a look at the premium mileage killer b all right so killer b right here the stats are as follow pretty good hp pretty bad defense pretty okay attack okay over here for the skills first skill is a lightning type skill trigger speed is fastest chakra cost is 70 what it does is it deals 7 plus 2222 excuse me damage to a single target enemy there's low chance to cause paralysis uh, status and uh, if you're using skill number one against enemies that have already been paralyzed then you deal two times the bonus damage to them all right so and then there's also a chance that skill critical hit will happen and when that happens you deal an additional bonus of two times the damage so the total bonus damage you can deal is four times all right second skill is a unique type of skill trigger speed is normal chakra cost is 70. what it does is for a short time all right short period of time all your comrades all your uh units on your team their attack and defense will be increased by two times two times they put uh, quote, uh like uh, parentheses this time uh means a hundred percent up so now I figured it like they have been doing this for the new units now. So they have labeled like two times and then that actually, you know, in in uh, 
parentheses equals 100% increase, all right? So anyway, so 100% increase for attack and defense for your whole team, and then HP is recovered by 22%. I guess the reason why for all the 22222s is because it's a two years anniversary, so that's why. Anyway, so leader skill, all type, it benefits all attributes, all right? So uh, all attribute type units, their max HP and skill damage will be increased by 22%. Ability number one, max chakra is increased by two times. So that's his amount of chakra. So instead of just having 100, he has 200. And also max HP is increased by two times as well. Also, again, that means 100% up. They just have to let you know. All right, so ability number two, when your HP is above 90%, lightning skill damage is increased by two times. Again, that's 100% increase. And uh, he belongs to the, the Cloud Village, all right? The village where they use lightning skills. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Actually, no, this one we have already taken a look at. Uh, that's the, again, let me show you the second part of that news which is the trading shop. So click on the shop menu, click on trading shop right here. And then bam, all of these lineup has uh, refreshed. So click on this uh, fifth tab, Ninja Miles, right? These are your Ninja Miles by doing like action, like selling, awakening, leveling up, blah, blah, blah. You earn these things, okay? So now you can actually trade for this Naruto or you can trade for Ninja Stones, right? So I'm really glad because I can now trade for more Ninja Stones. I have two, what? I have 220 to, uh, to begin with, but I'll get more later on, right? So I'll end this video with me doing polls, all right? So if you guys are interested, stay till the end of the video. So click on the premium mileage. Now you can trade for Killer B and also everything else, they're making a comeback. So for those of you who haven't gotten any of the previous ones, but you would like to, make sure to, uh, you know, spend your premium mileage premium miles properly this time and trade for the things that you've always wanted but couldn't get all right so these two again kushina and naruto they cost three thousand each because they are pretty good unit everything else is pretty meh but this killer bee is pretty good and uh, again the reason why this is different is saying like limited time offer so as the previous ones they're all limited time but they have a green tag because they're making a comeback so it's this retro right here all right, so now let's move on. Let's go back to the news. See over here, I have 220. So I can do a bit of a poll this time, again, because um, I took uh, one of my viewers advice to save up my gems for, for the end of April, right? Beginning of March, I mean May, sorry, so that I can do polls. All right, so over here for the two years anniversary uh, celebration, we're having the premium mileage 7.610 times campaign. For those of you who are newer to my channel or newer to this Naruto game, uh, the reason why they always use 7610 or 7610 or 7.610 is because this number spells out the name for Naruto, all right? So seven is Nana in Jap Japanese, right? So they took out the first syllable of it, so it becomes Na and then six they will be like naru to all right so it's 76 naru to is 10 right so that's why they they call it like that all right but that's not exactly how you say 10 in 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 japanese or that's not even how you say six in japanese six is roku right anyways uh and 10 is jew but but they just this somehow spells his name out all right just don't ask me how don't ask me why I'm not that advanced in Japanese, but this is this is the reason why. Okay, so anyway, so 77.610 times uh, for premium mileage, meaning ev for every single gem that you spend, uh, before you're only gonna get two premium mileage, right? But during this campaign time, every ninja stone that you spend, you will get 15 premium mile miles back, right? So every one gem that you spend, you get 15. So that's a lot. So if you spend 10, you get 150. So if you spend 100, you get 1,500 already. So you can trade for a unit in the shop if that's what you want to spend your ninja miles on, right? If not, you can spend your ninja premium ninja miles 
back on to getting more gems and then you can do more pulls all right so that's probably what i'll be doing if i don't get any of the new characters right so we'll see anyway so after this 7.6 10 times campaign is over they will be moving on to the second phase of the celebration campaign which is to make it two times all right so instead of getting just two premium mileage you'll be getting four premium mileage for every gem spent from the period between may 3rd all the way to may 31st all right so take you know advantage now between now to may 3rd 2010 uh japan's time so you still have like two days or two and a half days left all right so that's that's a good thing all right so now let's move on to the next one uh yeah we talked about this and over here there's just some minor stuff uh they fixed the profile of the new like the god tier sasuke and naruto it's just fixing their blood type and their uh zodiac they kind of messed up before they probably put someone else's on there or probably they switched and now they have fixed it they switched it back all right so and also over here we have battle mission all right new i think this is new battle mission or just a retro one but i think it's a new one but again, uh, it's similar to the ones we've done before. It's the battle mission versus Ashura and the battle mission versus Indora, all right? Uh, or, or Indra in, in English, right? So if you guys remember, Ashura is what? Naruto, right? Indra is Sasuke, uh, the descendant, right? Um, anyway, so we're having battle missions for them, meaning what you actually... Oh, actually, no. Indra is for Naruto, right? No, never mind. Whatever. So if you do the first mission, you will get sasuke's unique ninja gear if you do the second mission you get naruto's uh special ninja gear for him all right and these will be coming out on may 3rd that's right after this uh god ninja festival is finished all right so be sure to look out for it because if, for those of you who have already gotten the god tier sasuke uh, and Naruto, which I know you guys did because I checked my Twitter or checked my YouTube and I see some of you already posting uh, how you guys already got him, right? You guys are super lucky. Congratulations. And be sure to uh, wait for these because you will need these to make them even more OP, all right? Like super mega extreme ultimate god tier OP. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm just throwing that like joke again. Um, anyways, let's move on to uh, the next one. Okay, I'll be talking about the Naruto and Sasuke shortly, but let's take a look at the not-so-new news. So over here, we have Mike Guys training again for those of you who are desperate in leveling up your account. Uh, be sure to do this, and then your your uh, ninja rank will go up by a lot, all right? But if you're, like, high level, you don't go, go up as much. And uh, again, for all the previous Might Guy trainings, you can only do this once, all right? So this is just like a free mission. You do it, you get tons of uh, ninja rank experience points. So be sure to do it like when you're almost out of stamina, uh, but enough for doing this mission so that you can level up and replenish your stamina, all right? So th that's just some basic uh, tips. Let's move on to the next one. Over here, we have a super ninja awakening mission and this time what the test of god all right so from this time period of time until uh may 10th we will be having this uh new mission this time there is a god ninja rank uh what do you call it god ninja rank difficulty mission all right so the latest difficulty mission that we we had before was the super again all, all with these super stuff so super like ultimate rank right right here the super like ultimate rank we had that was like already really ultimate this time we have the the god ninja rank so even more even harder than what we used to face which was already really hard but now we're having something that's really really hard so um i don't know i i actually doubt that i will be able to do this myself because you know i my units are pretty outdated even though i had like the 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 more op characters but i don't have the final valley versions of sasuke's or naruto so i probably will have to rely on friends to do these uh the best way probably find random friends that have the new god ninjas just use them to spam uh these ones all right so i believe you need these god ninja orbs all right 
uh, in order to awaken your god tier ninjas, all right, meaning the new Sasuke or Naruto, all right. So don't ask me how to do it because I haven't done it yet. Uh, yeah, try to do it yourself, but I think the best way is to find like a really OP friend, just let him carry you, all right, let him or her carry you. All right, so over here we have big battle mission. Again, I don't go uh, too deeply into these anymore because I've already... Um, went through all of them before with you guys you guys can just take a look at my previous um what do you call it previous videos and then just see how to do these all right so i believe i've went through all of these with you guys right but i don't remember this electric cloud if i haven't talked about these let me know in the comment section down below but i think i have like to be honest i've seen uh, hashirama's blade i've seen kimimaro's bones and the other ones so i think i did right so these are all the old big battle mission ninjas they all have a chance uh well the characters yeah i think the characters have a chance to drop but after stage 17 all right so after stage 17 whenever you're attempting the big battle mission you have a chance to get these characters and um you know again these ninja gear this is what you are here for if you guys are looking for a big battle mission i think this is a doable mission like even for me uh for me i don't like grinding but because almost like at every stage um of of you attempting like when you get like eight thousand points ten thousand points etc you'll be able to get rewards right so this is this is pretty rewarding to do is what i'm trying to say and uh yeah that that's basically it if you're trying to unlock bonus stages and things like that just just read the descriptions all right and again i taught you guys how to read uh the descriptions based on my previous video so check that out all right so finally actually no not finally uh we're not doing the gacha yet but let's take a look at the the news that i haven't looked at yet so this is the double share campaign again for line and um line and what is it not whatsapp but was it wechat i totally forgot uh twitter my bad twitter and line all right so once we have enough twitter retweets we're gonna get like 15 ninja stones and then seven ninja stones five ninja stones etc etc interesting are they doing it from bottom to Okay, so they're doing like from bottom and up. So if we re reach a thousand retweets, we're going to get the, the, what is this? Uh, the two year anniversary ramen, the cup noodles, and then 2,500 retweets, blah, blah, blah. All right, so same thing for line, a uh, thousand all the way up till here. We're going to get the five stars nindo level increase item all right so again if you guys have line or twitter just retweet or reshare and that's it if not just wait for um all the other players to do it because most of the time we we always achieve the final achieve the final goal so that's it and uh these things i've already went over with you guys but let's take a look at this again this now let's take a look at this again so this um it's just a two-year celebration they have 10 big campaigns right here and um the first one is them introducing the god ninja festival and they're featuring a brand new character this time it's naruto and and sasuke and give me one quick second my nose is really stuffed right now all right so i'm back and um so this time we have naruto and sasuke and they're both cost 90 all right and they both have the voice acting uh included within the the character so i'll talk about that in just a second and then next one over here we will be having another super super ninja festival right after which is i think i think they actually not not just right after but during the period of time so we will be having another banner and at this time we will be getting a new all right sun in right here so we have new uh super ninja festival limited edition or exclusive i should say naruto sasuke and sakura right here from uh, uh, may 3rd to may 31st and then uh from april 30th to may 10th i've talked about the the battle missions right here so we'll be having battle missions for um 
Sasuke and Naruto, where you get the ninja gears, all right? And also, again, the test of God Super Ninja Awakening mission to get the God Orb. God Ninja Orb. Over here, May 3rd to May 11th, we'll be having uh, some sort of event, all right? So this is like some resistance event. Maybe it's a new thing. Uh, yeah. So we'll talk about that when it comes, I guess. And then over here, for every weekend, uh, this is not yet open, but for every weekend that is to come, we'll be having the weekend limited edition or weekend exclusive Super Ninja Festival special edition. All right. So that uh, they're going to. OK, so they're going to put these elements uh, characters like the red, blue, um, yellow, green. Wait, not green. Sorry. The white and black uh, attribute characters, they will be splitting them apart and then introducing them during the weekend uh, festival. So probably the yellow, red, blue will be in one and the black and white in, in another one and probably just uh, switching back and forth, back and forth. Not sure yet, but just check it out on the weekend, right? But I'm pretty sure if all of us are trying to get the God tier Naruto and God tier uh Sasuke, probably we're not going to spend any gems on these, but who knows. Alright, so over here from April 26th to May 31st, we will... Okay, so we'll be getting a total of 76 plus 10 Ninja Stones in total. I think we already got that. That's why I got a lot of Ninja Stones in my, uh, in my account. But every single day that you log in, you get one Ninja Stone afterwards, alright? Okay, so over here... From April 30th to May 3rd, this is the premium miles bonus, 7.610. And uh, you can trade for all these characters that I just went through. So let's move on to the next one over here. I talked about this Naruto already, so let's skip that. And then this is just the campaign, Mike Guy's um, training. And also, yes, we have the Kakuzu uh, mission as well, where you can get a ton of gold. Uh, or money for your account so that you can spend it to upgrade your ninjas, awaken your ninjas, etc. All right. And then finally, we have this one right here. So from April 30th to May 31st, let's see what this is. Ah, this is cool. This is for all the returning uh, players and all the startup players. All right. So if you are new to this game, so meaning you're either new or you're starting a brand new account, meaning you're re-rolling and things like that. So if you're new to this game, or if you are coming back to this game, let's say if you haven't turned on the game for, I don't know, they didn't say how long, but maybe one month, two months, or three months. If you haven't played this game for a long time and it's time for you to come back, you will be rewarded, all right? So for the new players and the coming back returning players, they will get Ninja Stones, Stamina, Recovery Ramen, and also uh, gotcha tickets that will have five stars guaranteed. Uh, I think it's five stars guaranteed uh, gotcha ticket. All right. So yeah, you guys will be able to to uh, to get these things to get you started or trying to get you guys to come back uh, so that you guys will have a better time catching up. All right. And then uh, let's talk about the festival, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, I think I talked about everything. Uh, this thing over here, we're going to go into that shortly. Yes, all right, let's 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 take a look at this one first. So uh, before we actually talk about the units, um, because over here, they have the, the difference right here, right? So if you guys remember, this will start from April 30th, which is already started, all the way to May 8th, right? But during the first... 3.5 days or so, so 76 hours and 10 minutes, all right, we're having the ultimate, right, or the extreme, like ultimate God Ninja Festival. But after that period of time, after 76 hours and 10 minutes from the start of this event, uh, so basically from May 4th onwards to May 8th, it's only going to be a regular God Ninja Festival, all right? So what is the difference here? The difference is from like April 30th to May 3rd, the 76 hours and 10 minutes. For the first multi-summon that you do, 
it will only cost you 30 gems, all right? The second multi-summon that you do will cost you 40 gems, all right? And after that, every single multi-summon will cost you 50 gems like the normal, but the first two are discounted. So you only need to spend 70 gems to do two multi-summons, all right? So you save 30 gems right there. And uh, also for your first, or actually, I think every single multi summon that you do you're guaranteed a five stars right here uh so and also for this festival everything that comes out will be a four stars and above uh but this time take note you will not be getting any festival tags meaning if you do 30 multi summons you're not gonna get like 30 of these tags so you can trade for a special character that you want this time there's no trading for god tier characters um so yeah just spend it wisely i mean spend it mindfully so that you know you're not gonna get like a guaranteed thing all right so paying will not equals winning this time and uh over here so after what happens is after the ultimate god ninja festival when the regular uh, festival comes every single day they will change the pickup character all right so for for this one as you guys can see for the ultimate one both uh, Naruto and Sasuke's are within the pickup range. On May 4th, if you guys are looking for Naruto, Naruto is uh, the one with the pickup rates. Sasuke will have the pickup rates from, I mean, for May 5th. On May 6th, it'll be Naruto, and then it'll be Sasuke again on May 7th. And then finally, on May 8th, both Naruto and Sasuke will have their pickup rates again, right? So each day they will change. All right, but let's take a look at the rate now because it's it's not pretty right the rate is actually pretty bad if you ask me uh it's the worst rate we've ever gotten for any of the previous festival i think i i, I mean i don't think i know it's because mainly because they're really op and they don't want everyone to get them right and they probably make you spend money in order to get them and that is why so let's take a look at the rates right here so for the rates, this is the regular rate, all right, 0.4%. So again, previous rates, we always had like 1% at least, right, or 2. And then uh, you have 0.4% for for uh, two of them together, meaning if you divide them by two, which is how they work normally, 0.2% for Naruto, 0.2% for Sasuke. That's like almost zero. I mean, it is zero, but it's zero point something, right? But it's almost 0.0%. .0%. So your chance of getting them is really low. Uh, but let's take a look at the first multi-summon that you, you have, right? First multi-summon that you do, it is 0.4% divided by two. So you have 99.6% chance of getting all the other 75 uh, five stars. All right, guaranteed. And uh, so if you don't get them it's actually normal all right remember if you don't get them you are the rest of the 99.6 percent people if you happen to get either one of them you are within the 0.2 percent of the people so consider yourself really extremely lucky because the average person will not get them all right so second multi summon that you do you have a whopping 0.1 percent increase again divide by two of them and then the third multi summon that you do, 0.8%. All right, so now it's 0.4% chance for one of them now, right? So that's pretty good. Your fourth multi summon, it increases all the way to 1.3%. All right, so that's high. And finally, at the fifth multi summon that you do, it's 2% chance. So now it's a bit more fair. And uh, actually, what's even more fair is every single multi summon that you do after the fifth one. All right, so fifth and above you will be getting two percent chance of getting these so now they will become the regular rates all right so so yeah i think they just used a reverse psychology meaning like you know they could have introduced it at two percent for the very first multi-summon but they have to make you work towards that one so by instead of having it on your first multi-summon they now added four stages before that in order for you to get your 2% chance. Meaning you spend 30 gems here, 40 gems here, meaning uh, 70 gems in total, 120, 170, and finally at 220, you get this. Oh, 
that's exactly how much I have. 220 gems, I can do five multi summons. So my fifth one will be 2% chance. So hopefully, I don't know, hopefully I'll get it and hopefully I can control myself and not get sad or ticked off over the fact that I don't get them because I guess it's, you know, math, right? Percentage wise, we're not supposed to get that, but we'll see. So now finally, let's take a look at them and I'll be doing my polls, all right? If you guys have any questions so far, uh, feel free to comment in the comment section down below. If I've missed anything I didn't cover, let me know in the comment section down below because I don't think I've missed anything, but if I did, let me know, all right? If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, comment down below and I'll read them. I'll reply to every single one of them uh, within the next, I mean, okay, I'll read through all the comments and uh like within the next three to five days and also reply to them but uh afterwards i will not be reading comments from a uh, old video all right i've mentioned this many times now because youtube's youtube's uh, notification system has updated and i don't get notified uh, the same way as i did before so now every time you guys comment on my old videos most of the time like 90 percent of the time i don't get notified so i don't know whether you guys have commented on my old videos or not. So if you guys want me to read your comments, always be sure to comment on my newest videos. I I have like a rule to read them uh, for the first three to five days. And then after three to five days period of like a, of a new video, then I'll start reading my newer videos comments and then not read comments. So any video that is already a week old, I will, I will be not be reading comments for those, all right? So I have mentioned that for my previous four to five videos by now. So you guys should know this by now. Uh, if you guys really need my attention, uh, comment on my newest videos, all right? And that's it. So let's take a look at the status of this. Wow, that's pretty OP. Uh, HP is 65,000. Sorry, something just came across my mind. Sorry, guys. You guys would be like, oh my goodness, we're jumping around again. I, and I've been talking to myself all the time. But you guys need to know this because I've missed out a really important news right here. All right, so let's finish this off and then we'll talk about that. So over here, we have the third PvP event. I think this time I will participate. Finally, this this will be my first participation if I do. Uh, I've skipped the previous two and I've skipped all the three beta testing. Anyways, this time... The reason why I think I will be participating is because uh, there is two times the amount of players that can receive the cost 100 six stars Naruto. All right. So before, if you guys remember, you have to be like the really top tier elite players to get the cost 100 six stars Naruto. But this time they have doubled the amount of players that can get this OP Naruto. All right. So if you guys are interested in getting this Naruto, do this third PvP, all right? So this PvP will be coming out um, in the middle, towards the middle of May. So be sure to to uh, pay attention. That's it, that's all I have to tell you. Uh, everything else, I don't know, I haven't done this before, but uh, towards the middle of May is when the third PvP will be coming out. So uh, pay attention, and if you guys are interested, do that so you guys can have a chance of getting the Naruto, all right? So now let's resume what I have left off. Oh, whoops, my bad. Uh, oh my goodness, I clicked on the wrong thing. All right, over here. So 65K HP, 37.9K attack, all right? This is like just the natural state, like without any gear. That's really OP. Defense, 28K. And, uh... Agility 259 very crazy. All right. Look at the dodge rate guys 32% dodge rate. That's That's crazy dodge rate critical hit like, you know, 24% uh, chance and over here critical power 176% so obviously really OP this is the six, uh, six uh, Path of the six sage, you know six Six paths of sage mode. I can't even say his name anymore. Anyways, so whatever the sage mode I got Naruto right here Obviously really OP, but the amount of material that you need It's right here. Okay, so save up 
or don't use up all your things. I still need to do these then. You need six of those God Ninja Orbs, seven of the yellow Awakening Orbs, nine of these black and white books, and uh, these snowflakes, all right, right here. So be sure to get these things, all right? Grind really hard. All right, so over here for the skills, this first skill is the six path uh, skill. The chakra cost is zero, trigger speed is normal, all right? So not fast, not nothing. Okay, so the first skill is AOE damage. It'll deal 3% plus 100 damage to all the enemy, uh, all the units on the enemy's team. And uh, it, the reason why it's a zero is not really because it's zero, but it will use up all your chakra. So if you have 100 chakra, it will use up 100 chakra. If you have 150 chakra, you use up 150 chakra. If you have 200 chakra, it will use up 200 chakra, all right? And uh, the amount of chakra that is used... Wait, so the damage is in, the damage is determined on the amount of chakra used, all right? So the more chakra you used up, the higher the damage will be, all right? Uh, the lesser the amount of chakra you used, let's say you only have 50 left and you use 50, then your damage will not be as high as the damage when you use 100 chakra, all right? You get it? So over here it says, <clears throat> excuse me, at 100 chakra usage, meaning when you have maxed out your chakra and used max chakra, then you will deal 20 times the bonus damage, all right? So that's the, the that's the damage. So you just do the math. At 50, you probably only do 10 times the damage, all right? So it'll be 20 times, 3% plus 100 damage. All right, so also if your enemy happens to be Uchiha Sasuke, then you will deal uh, a 1.5 times damage to your enemy. All right, so 1.5 times bonus damage to Sasuke. And also this skill is um, is a 100% hit skill, meaning it can't miss. This skill is a no missing skill. Second skill is a unique type skill. Trigger speed is normal. Chakra cost 80. What it does is it boosts your own skill damage by 500%. All right, that's crazy, 500%. And also when you are defending, your chakra is going to be recovered by 30% instead of however many percent you recover when you're defending. Because whenever you defend, you recover chakra, right? So this time, uh, when you're defending, and then and when you're recovering chakra, you recover 30%. Actually, no, it says 30% increase, all right? So 30% increase uh, on however many chakra you're supposed to recover, okay? So another increase by 30%. So that helps you out a lot. All right, so abilities, it buffs all Yellow type attribute units buffs their max HP, attack, and skill damage by 100%. Ability number one, max HP is increased by 100%. And then for Rene Sharingan skill damage incoming, all right, incoming Rene Sharingan type skill damage are lessened, okay? Ability number two, chakra, when your chakra is above 90%, skill damage is increased by 150%, okay? And I just noticed one thing, because I'm like, why are we having this lessened only in, and instead of half or immune? It's because we're reading a five stars version, all right? So now let's talk about the six stars version. I should do this for both Sasuke and Naruto, so you guys know, all right? Because for those of us who will not be getting the six stars version yet, then this is the only thing we're, we have access to, right? Now let's take a look at the six stars version. Let's see how OP is. Wow, the art is crazy OP already. We have uh, like a two-headed Ninetales Fox. So over here, uh, let's take a look at, has it changed? Yeah, the stats has changed. The attack is even higher, uh, sorry, uh, the HP is even higher. 71K, all right? So let's take a look at the skills. Skills-wise, um, the only thing that's changed is the trigger speed. The trigger speed now is has become fast instead of normal and also if your enemy is Sasuke you deal two times damage instead of 1.5 times okay so now let's skip to the next one the next one next skill uh, the the chakra cost has decreased uh, instead of 80 now it's 70 and the trigger speed is fast instead of normal 
And also, what's changed is the skill damage. Skill damage is now a thousand percent instead, increased by a thousand percent instead of increasing by five hundred percent. Okay, and let's look look at the abilities. For abilities, ability number one, instead of your HP increasing by one hundred percent, now it's increased by one hundred twenty percent. So we can see that in the stats menu. And uh, over here for ability number two. Your max chakra is increased by 50. So now you have 150 instead of 100. And also when your chakra is at 50% or above, uh, sorry, uh, when you're, yeah, it's, you have to be above 50%, not 50% or above, just 50%. Then your skill damage is increased by 150 instead of when your chakra is above 90%. So still incoming Rene Shining and types uh, skill damage is still less than not halved. All right, so too bad. That's it, he belongs to Konoha. Now let's take a look at Sasuke. I see a lot of people posting uh, the fact that you guys have Sasuke. Interesting. Uh, I, I don't think I've seen a narrative yet, or maybe you guys did. Maybe I've seen one uh, that you guys posted. Let's take a look at the 5 stars version first, and then we'll do a comparison uh, between 5 stars and 6 stars. So over here we have 69k HP, and then 36k uh, attack, 28k defense, and 231 speed. 181% for critical hit power, 32% chance of dodging, and 25% chance of uh, critical hitting. All right, so that's 1% higher than Naruto, but uh, also he has less agility. He belongs to Konoha. Interesting. All right, even though they were battling during that time. Okay, or probably that's before them battling. That's probably when they're fighting um, Kaguya. Alright, so over here is Rene Sharingan type. Alright, so I remember, yes, he's Indra right here. Indra's bow is the first skill. Uh, chakra cost zero. Again, this is not uh, correct. He's going to spend whatever amount of chakra you have. And uh, trigger speed is normal. Alright, so what it does is similar or almost exactly the same as Naruto. It deals 3% plus 100 damage to the enemy's whole team. It will spend all the chakra that you have, and the damage depends on how much chakra you've spent. At 100 chakra spent, you will deal 20 times the damage. All right. If your enemy is Utsumaki Naruto, and then or or there's a Utsumaki Naruto on the enemy's team, you will deal 1.5 times the damage. All right. And this skill is also a non-missing skill, meaning it's going to be 100% accurate. You're not going to miss. Second skill is a unique type skill. Trigger speed is normal. Chakra cost is 80. Uh, what it does is boost his own skill damage by 500%. And when you are defending, your chakra recovery rate is increased by 30%. So it's exactly the same as Naruto, except you use Rene Sharingan type and he uses six paths, all right? And uh, not to be biased, even though you guys know I dislike Sasuke a lot, not to be biased, I think this time six paths uh, is better element or better skill type because if you guys remember uh, for a lot of the previous bosses a lot of them are let's say immune or strong against Rene Sharingan right but six paths pierces through a lot of the enemies a lot of them are not immune to six paths or strong against so this time I'd say Naruto uh, maybe some of you may disagree with me depending on the um, like different bosses that you fight and things like that but this time, I would say, like, non-biased, all right? Just based on facts, I think uh, six, six path sage technique is better in, in this case. But a lot of the previous units, uh, Sasuke has been the better one, right? You guys you guys all know, even though I dislike him, he has, like, the final Valley Sasuke has been reigning, like, MVP, right? For, for, the, for the past, I don't know, like, six months to a year. No, only been six months or so. Uh, he has been really OP. Uh, but now, yeah, there's just same, but just different skill type. So leader skill buffs all blue type attribute units. Max HP attack skill damage is increased by 100%. Ability number one, max HP is increased by 100%. And six paths type skill damage are lessened. All right, the incoming uh, six paths skill damage are lessened. Ability number two, when you're, <coughs> excuse me, when your uh, chakra is above 90%, skill damage is increased by 150%. Alright, so let's take a look at the 6 stars version. So at 6 stars version, he has the Susano, And what's different is just 
uh, the HP. HP is increased by 120% instead of 100% now for ability number one. For ability number two, max chakra is increased by 50. So same, exactly the same as Naruto. And your condition became chakra is above 50% instead of uh, 90%. So for the skills, what's different is also the, the second part of the first skill. So if your enemy is Naruto, now you deal 2 times the damage instead of 1.5 times. And trigger speed is now fast instead of normal. And then over here for the second skill, trigger speed is now fast instead of normal. Chakra causes 70 instead of 80. And then you will be having the 1000% skill damage boost instead of 500%. So exactly the same. The only difference, major difference is the leader skill it buffs blue type instead of yellow type and six paths uh skill versus renee shining gun type all right but both of these type are really good uh yeah both of them are really good and uh not a lot of enemies are strong against either type anyways um so yeah that's it. I think I've gone through every single news, every single thing that you guys might need to know. Uh, sorry for our, for me, you know, talking, taking up most of the time today, you know, making uh, unnecessary jokes or not funny jokes. But uh, hopefully, it still made your day. Now it's time for the ultimate finale, and uh, <laughs> I don't know. Let's just hope. 220 stones that I'm spending. Let's just hope I will be able to get either one of them, even though. I always prefer the Naruto over Sasuke, even though some of the Sasuke's are definitely better than Naruto. I still support Naruto, right? Let's see. I, would, I just want to check to see if I have room for for 55 for 55 um, units because every single multi summon you do will come out. We'll have 11 units coming out, right? All right, so that's it. Let's let's do it. I think I have enough room. Here we go, please wish me luck, and uh, good luck to all of you who will be polling, and again, congrats to all of you who have already gotten either Naruto or Sasuke, alright, they're both god tier characters in this god ninja festival, alright, right here, first multi summon, here we go. Oh no, no rainbow characters, but we're gonna get a 5 stars anyways, let's see what this is. Mm, we got A. Alright. I'm just gonna I'm just tapping through this. Okay, my first pull is pretty pretty bad so far. Extremely bad. Alright. So let's move on to the next one. Now it's only uh, 40 gems and also guaranteed five stars. But again we only have a zero point 2.5 this time, 0 0.4, no, 0 point something this time, I forgot, no, 0 point, what is it, 0 point 0.3 or something, alright, oh, haven't seen him in a long time, what the, what the heck, the door won't close, do you guys see that? It kept on trying to close, I'm like, oh my goodness, don't tell me. I, I thought that was a special animation of Naruto or Sasuke coming out. Like, the door won't close and they'll just put their hands like through the door and just open it and comes out. But no, I was wrong. But now, here we go. Uh, the rate is increased now. Let's do this. Oh my goodness. Is that it? Let's see. Oh, come on. What was with that special animation? Nothing? Oh, come on. It's, it's getting my hopes up right now just because I saw that frog. Wait, is he... Is he... The... Exclusive one? I forgot. I'll, I'll check it out later on. Because there was one Hashirama that I always wanted, the one with the, the thousand Buddha fist or whatever, the palm strike one. What the heck? Wait, is, is this a really OP one? Let's see. Or not. 
Oh, no, it's not. It's just a regular one. It's just a new regular one. All right. Here we go. This is my fourth multi summon. I should have like a one point something. Oh, rainbow. Come on, please. Oh, but the same background though. Ah. Uh... Nope. Oh my goodness. My heart's beating quite fast right now. Oh man. Whew. All right. My last multi summon, guys. Last multi summon. Let's see what I get. Oh, here we go. Will I get Naruto? Not too sure. Ah, uh, Itachi. I guess not, eh? 2% chance, didn't get them. Too bad. But, um, let's see. I still have some mileage points. Let's go trade for them and then, uh, let's check it out, alright? I actually took it better than I would. Probably because I'm prepared to not get them. Uh, probably because I know the chances are really, really, really slim. But let's see. I should have enough for... How many? Let's see. Okay. Can I get all 25? Yeah, I think I can. Alright, so I just had enough for 25. And let's see. My premium mileage, I should have a lot now because I spent... See, look at that. I spent 200... 20 and I have now uh, 3502 oh I can have oh no okay so 50 gem I mean 50 premium miles for one uh, okay so 10 equals 500 okay and I'll get 10 more bam that's it oh they had just enough for uh, they had just enough for 20, so now I'm missing 5. But again, guys, like I encourage you guys to save up to 50 before you spend because you get the rate up, right? Because if you do single pulls, your rate is pretty bad this time. Uh, my goodness. All right, so I guess I can't do my next pull uh, on camera for you guys. I'll just have to somehow earn the 5 gems by doing the newer missions. I, I, I haven't done any single one of them, so I think I'll be able to get it. And uh, what else was I going to say? Yeah, that's it. That's it. So hopefully I will be able to get get um, the Naruto or Sasuke. And I still haven't pulled any of these yet. Interesting. So if you guys take a look at your gacha ticket, uh, be sure to use up your gacha tickets. You, you guys actually got these Sakura quiz tickets and things. And you guys can actually get the five stars sakura i haven't checked it out actually so let's see what i get oh it's all sakura i mean well yeah i, I knew that before i pulled but i mean you know what i'm saying <laughs> like it has a different feeling when all you see is sakura right oh my goodness all right, so that's it. So yeah, I'm just gonna try to earn my next five ninja stone, and hopefully, I will get that Naruto or Sasuke. All right, so take care, all of you guys. I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, please hit that like button, and if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe for more quality contents. And as always, I'll see you all at my next video. Take care, and bye now.